Hi lovelies. Uh, today I, I'm not going to be myself for a little while. Um, I have been sick for a really long time. Um, there's a lot going on with other people. Um, but I've been trying my best to kind of do what I think is right. And hopefully that's enough. Um, I'm very fearful around losing people and grief because um, I have lost uh, my best friend during a very difficult loss and I still to this day don't know why or what happened. I do blame myself that maybe I didn't do a mu as much or I didn't go to um, the burial and um, things like that. but. I'm a very weak person and I cannot handle certain things, um, especially back then when I didn't, hadn't gone through recovery. Um, it was so amazingly traumatic on me. Um, I don't understand funerals. I don't like them I don't go to them uh, I don't I just don't get them I find them extremely painful I find them traumatic uh, they now bring up other emotions about other people um, so I don't go to funerals unless someone specifically says I really want you to be there for me then of course I'll go but otherwise, I don't understand why we have funerals. I, I like the whole, like, remembering the person and celebrating them and the before and, like, a church service. But I don't understand actually, like, having a coffin or the body or anything there. Because um, once they leave this earth, that's it. But I do understand that for some people, funerals are closure. So I'm not trying to bash that. I'm just telling you how I feel. Um, and I really appreciate people like my, my dear friend that just lost someone. She is very respectful and understands how I am. And it's hard because it's not about me. It's just not. It's about the people that are hurting the most. And, but this person's still understanding that I don't know what to do in these situations because everybody grieves differently. Because on the one hand, someone could want to stay locked inside and take that time for themselves and spend a month just with no visitors and not seeing anyone. And then on the other hand, you have someone that needs to have someone around 24 seven to keep them occupied. They need to be doing things and all of this stuff. And so it's very hard for me to understand and try to find out what is needed or needs to be done. Um, just because I, I've known so many people that have just gotten more worked up because of how people were treating them. So I just really appreciate people understanding that I don't deal with grief. It's something I'm working on, which I didn't say in the last video, and I apologize for that. That's something I'm working on, um, just like how I had to learn how to cry and like cry in front of people. I'm working on that. So, um, but it's hard because being sick, I've been stuck in bed for about a month now. Um, more than that probably. I've been out one, two times. One to account my therapist and one out with friend and it made me really, really sick afterwards. But, um, there's just always this feeling of wanting to do so much more and be a better friend and loved one and I just feel completely inadequate in that area. But I'm trying my very best to do what's within my means and what I can actually do. Um, so 
I'm trying to be there in my own way and you know just hoping that people understand that and it sucks for me because I want to be doing all these things and um, so involved but I know everybody I mean everybody doesn't deal with death well but um, I'm just like a bit more extreme because I didn't really learn that and I didn't really lose I haven't really lost um, that many people I've lost my grandfather my gladdy who's not related but I love her so much and then the biggest I lost Adria who was like a daughter to me um, so pretty much I've only lost one person that was extremely close to my heart um, I love my poppy and gladdy but they were not a huge part of my life so that's all the experience I've had in my entire life with death and um, I didn't go to funerals I didn't go to anything like that um, the first and last funeral that I went to was for Adria and it still haunts me at night um, I went because I thought her mom would want me to be there I don't think that she necessarily was even in the frame of mind to know that we were there but I don't know where I'm going with this guys but it's just really great to be able to just talk about it and um, everybody's just been so caring and lovely and I so appreciate you guys keeping them in your prayers and in your thoughts and um, it just means the world to me I can't even express how much that means to me um, because they are just the most lovely people you would ever meet um, I wish I could just like da -da -da -da, show you them right here but um, I'm hoping and praying that this glare ends so that I can drive and sit with them and um, it's all really scary to me. I don't like to see people I love cry and hurt, and but that's part of life, and um, you know I have to do it. So um, I I do really want to see them too. It's not like I don't want to see them, but um, yeah. So hopefully I'll be having some more positive videos. But for now, that's what's going on in my life, and I just really appreciate the people that are leaving comments and the people that are texting me and asking about them and um, even if they're not saying it to them then they're saying it to me that they're praying for them um, I know that would mean the world to them so um, also I left a link in the last video but um, if you will are interested um, it would be absolutely amazing even if you could donate a dollar um, to uh, Alzheimer's research and I will link it down below and you can donate in Joyce's name um, that would be absolutely amazing because this is just such an awful disease that is just taking so many people and it scares the death out of me because I cannot imagine my parents having it and just losing who they are right in front of your eyes. Uh, we need to find a cure um, and research is what's going to do that and unfortunately money is what's going to get the research. So um, I will link that down below and if you would like to just go and look on the page or um, get more informed about it or donate in Joyce's name, that would be absolutely amazing. I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.